Hi everybody, my name is Candace Perry and I'm the curator here at the Schwenkfelder Library and Heritage Center in Pennsburg, Pennsylvania. And what I'd like to do today is start out with the first of what I hope will be a series of little vignettes that I am calling great stuff about things I love from our collection here at the Heritage Center and things that speak to me for whatever reason. And I hope to tell you a little bit about why these objects speak to me. Today we have a wonderful object that we just got for the collection and I was just delighted to get it personally because I have a real personal memory of playing with this sort of toy. Um, it's called a marble track and when I was a kid growing up in the lovely little town of Robazonia in western Berks County, um, my sisters and I often stayed with my great aunts and grandfather in their big old 19th century house and they had a bunch of old toys that we played with and among them was one of these marble tracks. And for some reason, this was forever embedded in my memory that this was the greatest toy, and I just loved it, and was thrilled recently when we got one for the collection. So just to demonstrate for those of you who've never seen this wonderful, low-tech, and very beautifully made toy, I'm going to demonstrate with the marbles. Now, if you were a kid really playing with this, um, you'd pile up as many marbles as you could and create a traffic jam on the marble track. But um, since we can't do that while we're sitting here, I'll just demonstrate as to how it works. And this provided hours of fun and enjoyment, just piling up the marbles and watching them go. It was really a great, fun thing. Now, a little bit about this marble track in particular. Um, the one I played with was a, much less primitive than this, but it's the primitiveness, I think, of this one that makes it actually more wonderful and charming. The chutes themselves are made out of a single piece of carved wood where the wood has been hollowed out to create the track. Then at the bends of the tracks, um, which the two tracks are there um, put together and held together, with a piece of tin here that's nailed on the curve of the track to create the curve. And it's just a wonderful piece, actually almost a folk art and a, a great toy. And I'm really delighted to have had the opportunity to share it with you today. Thanks.